It's Madden NFL 24. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the New York Giants and the Miami Dolphins. And it comes your way next. The summer humidity has given way to an absolutely gorgeous fall afternoon here at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Miami Dolphins. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. At CD, the Dolphins, they've got some high hopes for 2023. They feel like they've got the pieces to make a run. They need a little bit of health, but they think they can be right there in the AFC East. And they'll want every game to be a track meet because speed is their calling card. If they're able to sprint out there ahead of people and make them chase, they'll be tough to reel in. Meanwhile, for the Giants, what a turnaround last season in year one of the Brian Dable era, Charles. Yes, they finished behind the Eagles and Cowboys, but they did win nine games and one more for good measure at Minnesota in the wild card round. Talk about establishing a new base, a new culture, and getting into the playoffs while doing it. So tough to beat this Giants team in the fourth quarter. They expect that to continue. training camp but here we are in October and off we go on EA Sports and from his end zone here's Gary Brightwell and he'll be tackled just shy of the 25 but the Giants ready to go now on offense and under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond in his fifth season now Daniel Jones playing for his Giants career Jones's best season as a starter didn't come with huge numbers as a passer he was just the guy his team needed him to be. Someone who could threaten the defense throwing it, and especially as a runner. Now a two-time pro bowler coming off a big year, Saquon Barkley. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They'll take that, 14 yards on play number one. Big article in the paper this morning talking about how they wanted to get chunk plays in the run game. Well, early on, there's a good one. There is, and for guys on defense, they've got to remember the old adage, you've got to meet force with force, and if you don't, you get run over, as they did on that last play. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. Second and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Got a man open, it's Darren Waller. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 more on that one and another first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. Now Jones. A hit as he throws there incomplete. Offense was moving a little bit out of back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Now a second and 10. They go back to the ground now with Barkley, and he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. 
That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Here comes the seventh play in this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Well, that one hurts. I mean, it was third down, of course, but now the penalty, and we're back to first down. Yeah, it hurts momentum in a big way, and they built that up here in the early going. Now, that leaves the opposition with a first down. That's a mistake you don't want to make at this point in the game. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. A short throw pulled in by Bellinger. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Barkley inside handoff. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. Throwing Jones. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. From the left hash, this from 39. Gano's kick is good. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points. Maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. This fielded right at the goal line. Now Tua Tagovailoa gets set to lead this Dolphins offense for the first time. Injuries overshadowed a great season from Tua last season. He led a Miami passing game that was one of the best in the league, and even more importantly, took them to the postseason for the first time in six years. That jump they were looking for from him, it absolutely occurred. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Now their 31-year-old running back, Raheem Mostert. And he is going to lose yardage here. Isaiah Simmons, boy, he can move all over the field. And he gets a tackle for loss there. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. But now it's third down. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Able to find the open man. That's complete. He's to the 15. They're all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. 
That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. On the return, here's Gary Brightwell. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you think you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Jones, a short one here, secured by the tight end Waller. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second and eight coming from the 19. And Jones is going to put it in the hands of Barkley on the option. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Holding offense. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still second down. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. It's a gain of four, but they're still looking up here at a tough third and 11. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Tough spot here, third down and 11. Back to throw, Jones. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So the completion there, Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allowed a completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him, because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. 46 yards rushing for him now to this point. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early, because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Here now, third and a yard. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And some room to work. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley, and another first and 10 here. A handoff as they run the counter play. And a hard-working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. This has been a good drive so far, and it's been a running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. 
Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. His throw caught right around the six. Yeah, the Giants are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. On the ground with a tight end. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard that time, second and goal. You got to be ready for anything when you play defense against this head coach. That is not something you'd expect to see here in the red zone, but it winds up getting them a few yards. Second and goal from inside the five. Barkley. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try to help against the run. Barkley again. But he will not get to the goal line. In fact, he won't get to the line of scrimmage as they push him back to the two. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what, oh, right? Yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. They'll run with Barkley, and he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And now their defense came through with the goal line. Stan got them the ball back. Let's see what they can do about putting a drive together. Long way to go. They need to reward that defense. A goal line stand, they've got to make that stand up themselves, right? Give the defense a chance to catch their breath on the sidelines. At least get two first downs. Three would be better. Change field position. Let them catch their breath. Second and seven. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And the field position doesn't get much better than this. They'll have it first and goal at the eight-yard line. Well, that sure started out as a good example of what they call backed up or coming out on offense, meaning you're backed up close to your own goal line. Big-time emphasis on practicing that to try and create some room at no less to give the punter a chance to kick the ball away. It means take care of the ball, try and create some space. They were doing that, and the ball come. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. The previous play is under review. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the V feeders on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. And the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be giant football first and 10. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. 
And they've got some stuff to build on from that last try because they moved the football CD and then they try to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so. And I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Running again with Barkley on second down. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter. The Giants on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. Looking to throw. Jones. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That third down conversion, good for 23. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Off the play fake. Jones. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time. Wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. It'll be a gain of about five, but they're left with a third and still about 12 to go. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not everyone's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. And the Dolphins beef up the secondary here as they look to stop them on third down. Back to throw. Jones. And this is going to be incomplete. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up fourth. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Gano's kick is good, and they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So the margin shrinks a bit as back-to-back -back drives here for him and with field goals. Yeah, we know no one's turning down three, especially in the first half, but you've got to finish these drives in the end zone. That's got to be a priority. Nice to have a reliable kicker, but outside of his agent, you know you'd rather him kick one-pointers instead of three-pointers. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. Barrio is going to bring this out of the end zone. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Miami's offense set and ready to go. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, 
the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Here's Tua. A quick throw there is incomplete. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw at any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now Tua. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. Oftentimes, we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. A lane there to run is Mostert able to get about seven there on first down. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Two and now on first down. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Back to the running game with Mostert. A strong running. <laughs> and this time, he's able to take it down to the 42. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And some space here. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 41 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. We often poke a little fun at running backs past the age of 30. Oh, they're getting old, they can't run anymore. What he's showing past the age of 30, you can still have some nice runs like that. You certainly can, and I think that we're starting to expand our definition of old running back. Because it used to be as soon as they hit 30, we want to get rid of these guys and go to the younger guys. But now that the guys are taking such great care of themselves, as you pointed out, you can still get explosive runs at any age. That play was all Bobby Okereke as he got there and dragged him down for the loss. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the balls even snap. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, and ends up spilling it for a loss. Once again, it's Mostert. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami.
This offense two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. It throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? So fourth down, two of departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. The kick by Sanders is good, and they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. to the field goal. Here comes Sanders to kick it away. Here's Brightwell to return it. Take it at about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. Now he's having himself a little bit of a banner game. His team right now, though, losing. Needs a little bit of help. And I kind of equate it to a basketball game where you have the big score and sometimes your strategy is, okay, he can go ahead and have all of his points. Let's hold down everyone else, and that's the way you win the game. And right now, he needs everyone else to start scoring, quote-unquote, as he's been. Yeah, and he's hoping to keep it close so maybe they can keep it on the ground, not start to go through the air as much. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Fair to say, it hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. This guy is well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. 117 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. From the 45 on second down, Jones and Waller taking it in over the middle. Catch number four for him on the afternoon and it'll give him a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley, and he'll get it down here to the 43. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. And they run the option on second down. And the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Well, he was having success there, holding on to it on the option, but ultimately problems downfield, and it results in a turnover. Yeah, and this is a tough one because you know you'd prefer to have your quarterback either heading to the sidelines or getting down at the end of the play. But you've got an aggressive one. He's fighting for extra yardage, and he gets stripped there. You don't need him to be a hero in that situation. You want your quarterback taking care of himself. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 27. 
They'll try and start this drive in the air. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll bring up second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. From the 33, here's a second down and four. Two are going to throw. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. They faked the handoff. Now Tua throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten. Now Tua on the bootleg here. That swung out to Mostert. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. Here's Tongue of Iloa on first and ten. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years of not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive trading. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. Second down and four. Throwing now is Tugavailoa. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Now the Dolphins gonna burn the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Second down and eight. Looking to pass to him. He'll hit Mostert again here. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. They'll come up now, third and three. Tua sets up to pass it. Short pass tip, but caught anyway. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Two and a throw again. 
to the goal line, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Sanders kick is good. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13 to six. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So the two teams will head to the locker rooms here in Miami with the Dolphins on top. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half from the lefty to a tongue of Iowa. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. in front and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. Barrios now from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 22. He'll look to Mostert to start things out. And not much doing there, maybe a yard up to the 23. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line and they hold him to just a yard. From the 23, here's the second and nine. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And he can muster only a couple here to the 24. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Here now a third down and eight. From the gun, it's Tua. That is caught. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, 
the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Here's a second and five. From the gun, a run with Mostert. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That's now consecutive five-yard carries to pick up the first down. I know flashy plays, splashy plays, as people like to call them. That attracts a lot of attention. But let's face it, when you're efficient, that can control a ball game. And I love the game plan they've got going right now. Back-to-back five-yard gains. Didn't force the ball downfield. Picked it up on the ground. Yeah, offensive line, they're getting it done. Two and now on first down. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And he's got this down to the 35. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. To his throw, complete there to Barrios. Will go down as a gain of six. And that's going to bring up second down. I think that was a pretty good read right there. They caught him in zone defense and went to the hitch. And because they're in zone, that creates a natural space between the defenders and the receiver, able to get it to him quickly and let him get upfield. Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. And incomplete. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football to places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Tua setting up shop to throw again. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. A run with Mostert up the middle. And a short gain here down to the 22. Bobby Okereke making that tackle. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. They work now on second and nine. Up the middle they go with Mo. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they keep stringing those together, you've got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? I like to credit the defense I, and the offense. I like you. And the analysts. That's perfect. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. They'll come up facing third and five. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. A 
they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. Sanders to kick it away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get involved in the end zone. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 20. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. They find some open field here. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 142 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. After a couple of seasons of battling injuries, the former number two overall pick returned to Pro Bowl form with over 1,300 yards and 10 touchdowns. Just as important, played 16 games and handled over 350 touches, essentially carrying the Giants' offense. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Jones. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards. A 12-yard loss, and it breaks up third. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. Jalen Phillips, the former first-rounder, getting in there for the sack. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. Here's Jamie Gillen now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And he'll get this away into the humid Florida sky. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return, and it'll be Dolphin football. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try and increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. So the drive takes them into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 35-yard line. And they'll send Waddle in motion left. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Big play from a big man, Kayvon Thibodeau, off the edge and dropping him behind the line. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, 
you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The well, touch and time there critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Credit that to the former Georgia Bulldog, Aziz Ojolari, getting in there to bring him down. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. And now out come the Giants. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 15. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll find Hodgins there complete. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging little tapestry if you will oh i like it on second down here's barkley and maybe a measure of revenge there he's had his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line it'll be a loss of a full three yards there and it also brings up third down but these guys going to chop into that deficit they got to do a much better job in the run game caught behind the line of scrimmage no yardage would be found Throwing Jones. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down, and that's what he just did. Jones now, throwing on first down. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. That time, Bradley Chubb shooting in there for the sack. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs, and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. After another impressive run, the question has to be asked, how do you slow these guys down running the football? I think they're going to try and get more people to the point of attack, try and get more people to the line of scrimmage, almost use a variety of run blitzes in order to try and get it done. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. And here comes Berrios. They call that a punt of 
38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. The Dolphins about set to go to work on offense. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. From the 46, here's second down and two. Here's a toss play right to Mostert. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time as we have now reached the end of the third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Dolphins on third down. Now they've converted seven times and could use another right now. Here it's third and two. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. Now that'll bring up fourth. They had the eight-yard gain on first down, but unable to do much from there. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, Fool him a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool him on that play. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And New York set to take the field. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Looking to throw. Jones. And his throw here is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. And his defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Second and nine. Back to throw, Jones. And the pass complete to Waller on the out route. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Here comes third and the length of the football. Up the middle with Barkley. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Brand, unfortunately, I've been here before. They've had two opportunities to stop them, so this is demoralizing. They haven't gotten it done. Now you're calling all your blitzes, all your attack defenses, 
but you're not worried about playing your normal position. You're going to take chances now. Well, you said it. Two third down opportunities to get off the field. Couldn't do it, and the clock continues to roll. Jones on first down. The short throw pulled in by Bellinger, and he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. So just three yards on the completion there, and it'll be second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Escaping the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And this time, not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. Call it a gain of six on the play. And they're going to have a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. Gano's kick is good, and this is back down to a seven-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. Barrio is going to bring this out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and ten. Two. And Tua going to keep it on the draw. Some fancy footwork, but not much room to operate. Just up past the 25 and no further. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. On second down, Mostert. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Got an open man fighting Hill on the comeback route. 
And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. They run out of the shotgun with Moster. Nifty move to about the 40-yard line. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Seven yards there and a first down. I know we're in the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space, but there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle, and you know, late in this game, he wants a football in his hands. He's had a good day. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards, and that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. They fake the handoff, now Tua. That swung out to Moster. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. They hand it off to Moster. And a little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Now, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Two are going to throw. Pass over the middle, tipped, but he still brings it in. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. And he fights forward for a modest two yard gain, second down. The Giants gonna go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Here's third and seven. Tongue of Iloa looking to throw it. And that's going to be incomplete. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. That was a good 10 feet over everyone's head. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to perhaps salt this one away. The kick by Sanders is good, and the Dolphins will add onto their lead. So that one. 
Gerald CD going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other side of that for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. Sanders to kick it away. Here's Brightwell to return it. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. So now Jones and the Giants down by 10. A minute 39 to go. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Jones. Oh, and a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. He may go back to the hole and have a little discussion with his passer. You know, maybe you don't have to leave me quite that much. <laughs> but on that play, bailed him out in a big way, didn't he? He did indeed. Hey, at least he gets to put it on the highlight reel. One timeout at their disposal, but more pressing is the need for two scores, obviously. Here's first and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. But they've certainly had trouble unlocking this defense through three and a half quarters, so I don't expect it to get any easier now. You know they're going to be sitting back and waiting on everything, and they force an incompletion there. Another try, second and ten now. Now Jones. To Barkley on the check down. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Short play like that in this situation, this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. To throw is Jones. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So since that last play got nothing, they'll go ahead and decline the penalty, and that forces a fourth down situation. Will the defense pressure or sit back? Here's fourth and five. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Dolphins get the football in great field position. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? But Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none. Yes, exactly right. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Victory very likely now for the Dolphins as they take a knee here.
Down to an ego's Tua, and that should just about do it. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done, really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural, yeah, but, yeah, I, but, but I... But I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I, represent, yeah. like, the best player of all yeah. of that, and I 